Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your gameplay for the F8E Crusader. This is a currently ranked 7 battle rating 10.3 fighter for the American Air Tech Tree in the naval portion of the tech tree. Now this vehicle is fairly unique, one, because it is the last gunfighter developed for the US Navy uh, with guns in mind before missiles. But secondly, and probably much more importantly, this has access to AIM-9Cs. So if you guys don't know, AIM-9Cs are actually radar guided AIM-9. So it's very, very unique in that regard. In this match, or at least in one or two matches, I will be taking a mix of AIM-9Cs and Ds just for some versatility, even though aim 9 these are kind of booty chatter. You never know, there might be a situation where I might need those rather than the AM9Cs. Now that being said, this vehicle is pretty much just an upgraded version of the FAU that we currently have in game. The FAU will be receiving a BR decrease fairly soon to 10.0 BR. So in that regard, this will be a, uh, a higher BR. I'm actually surprised that that hasn't already happened. And either way, I will be releasing a video sometime in the future, I'm not really entirely sure when, of the FAU as well but in the meantime let's get some gameplay here see what we could do and uh you know have a good time but i am stoked to be flying this plane let's get into it so if you guys don't already know aim 9 cs as you could imagine aren't particularly special outside of their uh their method of guidance really all that they have going for them uh, is again the fact that they are radar guided rather than um infrared ir so it, it is nice in that wow we had two kafirs or just die or tornadoes anyways um i'm trying to get a lock it is not working so i might have to go switch over to the aim nine these here let's go drop see if i can do this he's gonna s can i hit him wouldn't that be cool i did i think it's because <laughs> my missiles were just too stupid like they didn't have a wide enough uh angle of uh i guess you wow i've got an entire team on me Okay, I'm going to launch. Now I'm going to turn. Holy guacamole. Uh, but yeah, anyways, the AIM-9Cs are not particularly special in terms of their capability. They've got the same exact range, basically, as the AIM-9Ds, uh, as the IR-guided version. So they're just not particularly great uh, in that regard. But, oop, got to turn up. But... If I can get myself a lock on somebody eventually, I may be able to show you guys, hopefully. Um, okay, he's he might be crashing. Okay, works for me. It's a little bit ugly, but doesn't matter how ugly it is. If you get the kill, that is what matters. And I still have plenty of ammunition left. But I might just be switching to AIM-9Ds henceforth. I know this is not the best map to kind of... Oh, wow, that guy really just stole my kill. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Um, I know this isn't the best map to be using AIM-9Cs on, um, largely because of the fact that there's just so much cover. But, you know, of course I can do it, and that's what I'm doing here. Wow. Okay, that was fun. This guy's still flying and causing a ruckus. I have to take him out. Oh, yeah. If I can. Got the kill, finally. Two kills, two assists. Very nice. Cannot complain. Should have three kills and one assist. You know, with that A-10 being an assist. But it is what it is. Either way, I mean, this plane thus far is actually quite good. Um, I cannot complain. If, for whatever reason, my radar is not working uh, in the way that I want it to. I'm going to try to fire an AIM-9C on this fella. If it will lock, which I don't know if it will. I don't even know if it matters. You guys have stolen three kills from me. And two for me. So I guess it's even. But. Okay. A-10 here. Hopefully he's one of those guys who just loves firing AIM-9s at people. Perfect. Very, very nice. Look at this turning capability. Man, the F8 U Cru or the F8 Crusader is just phenomenal. I'm not really even losing a ton of speed. Uh, this thing is just great. So this might be the last guy on their team. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I am out of ammo. Okay, I've got my aim nines though. 
Can I land a hit? Probably not. Okay, he's toast. Got three assists. Not too bad. Very good match. I might just switch this up to use aim 9Ds henceforth. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I might just keep one more match for the aim 9Cs. But otherwise, three assists, two kills. Not too bad. And in an up tier. That's it. Let's get into another match. If I can get a nice rearward uh, lock on to him, I feel like that would be ideal. There we go. There we go. Come on. Please. Got him. There we go. Aim 9C's working in full. Got them to work. Very, very good missile because they just do not care about your flares. And so many people at this BR are using flares. It's just phenomenal to not have to worry about that. And before you guys mention the comments, oh, doesn't take a sign oath that says IRST doesn't even know what IRST is. Yes, I do. <laughs> you know, um, so yeah, that's one of the things obviously this has. I mean, you could even look at the front of it, IRST. However, um, it will not allow me to switch between IRST and radar while I'm tracking, which means that I cannot use my aim 9 cs even though it is a much, much easier lock with the IRST. Although, of course, you can still get a lock, I guess, with radar. It's just not nearly as easy. But, man, those aim 9 cs are good. But that's it. Let's jump forward, uh, do a jump cut, get into some fighting here. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, aim 9 cs are impressive when they lock. Oh, nice, I got the kill. Very fun with my aim 9 ds Okay, so we have a tornado over here. Can I hit him? My plane, ooh, wow, nice. My plane is a lot less stable now that my, uh, my wing is a bit damaged. So I'm going to stop going after this guy. Uh, I do still have a very large amount of uh, countermeasures, which is very nice. Okay, I'm going to turn in on these guys. This J-35 doesn't seem to be coming for me. So the thing with this plane, I feel like in some ways it's worse than most other planes. Uh, and in other ways, it's better. Uh, it's just a really weird plane currently in War Thunder. I'm going to launch on him. Ew, that was an ugly launch, but maybe I can make up for it. Who knows? Uh, so, as a dogfighter, this plane is just absolutely nasty. Um, as a missile fighter, this plane can be absolutely nasty. But, unfortunately, it just does not appear to be that way all the time. So, that said, not terrible, but not bad. Let's just, uh, I guess, do another match or two. I mean, I'll take that as two kills. Being that okay good got the second kill there so not a terrible thing especially against uh, all aspect missiles but uh, two kills i never consider two kills to be bad so let's get into another match or two see what we could do but uh not terrible not great definitely not an amazing show of skill perfect 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 j35a gonna launch it's a touch far but he's coming towards me so I may be able to get the kill if it keeps on the lock, and it does! Aim 9C kill. Very, very nice. I love getting some kills with Aim 9Cs. Ooh, look at this. This guy must not know I'm there. I doubt it, at least, right? Got me a hit, double strike. Not too bad. Making up for that last match, at least in part. This thing pulls hard, man. Okay. Okay. Turn up. Ah, uh, can't get him, can't get him. And I got killed. Another two-kill match, come on! But this was only about two seconds, and it was actually a pretty decent proof of concept of Boom and Zoom. I just wasn't being too careful. So that said, let's get into one final match. I know thus far I've been kind of doing booty chatter, understandably. But you know what? I really don't care, because it's been like two kills, and two kills is a positive. KD, let's get into it. So as we get a little closer to this match here, just uh, let's go over some of the strengths and weaknesses of this plane. First and foremost, I'd say overall it's got very good maneuverability, very good performance uh, for what it is, right? Like this is a gunfighter through and through, and it's good in that regard. Now, 
Um, it will be able to outperform pretty much every plane that you're in a match with if you're in a down tier, which looks like I am currently, which is very nice. Uh, but playing this kind of makes me feel like this plane should probably be 10.0 OBR, um, just because of everything I've been seeing. Uh, but, you know, I mean, 10.3 also isn't too terrible for it, kind of. Uh, but it's mostly just because it gets into matches with so many 11.3 VR fighters that it's just, I mean, ridiculous. It is just genuinely um, a hassle. I'm going to try to fire on this guy. Can I get him? Wouldn't that be awesome? I don't think I'm going to. Maybe I will. I did. <laughs> there we go, brothers. Yes, sir. Okay. Anyways, uh, but this does have pretty... Oh, wow, they're all coming uh, up here for me. So, this does have pretty decent performance, though, obviously. Uh, missiles are okay. Uh, the AIM-9C is excellent. If you can get it to work. Like, with the radar... Okay, he's... This guy is a little smarter than I gave him credit for. But if you can get those AIM-9Cs to work, this thing is... I got another kill. Oh, I didn't even get the kill the first time. Ooh, baby. Look at that. I'm just going to let this guy... He's going to probably not die. Um, that's just my assumption. But very, very nice. Nice. Two kills, quick double strike. But yeah, I mean, overall, um, I, I actually have a newfound respect for this plane. Genuinely. Uh, it's a very, very good plane. Um, it's got, again, I mean, it's got good cannons, in my opinion. Uh, they're better when you actually have somebody competent manning them. I'll just kind of let that guy die. Um, he'll probably get, hopefully get shot out by someone else. I really don't mind if someone steals my kill at this point. It's fine. But, um, overall, I mean, it's just a very capable aircraft. Weaknesses, again, I mean, it does have kind of middling... Ooh, that was on me. But it does have kind of middling... Uh, missiles. The AIM-9Cs are fantastic when you can actually get a lock. I mean, as you've seen, like, they maneuver really, really well. Uh, but you need a good lock. The AIM-9Ds are pretty good. Um, if you can get a decent enough, I guess you could say, like, train on your enemy. But overall, this is a very, very good plane. I mean, I've got three kills, probably plus an assist. So, yeah, it's been a very good experience but I think that with how many planes now exist at their current BRs at like 11.3, eh, maybe I wish that Gaijin would decompress a little bit more, but uh, I'm not really sure exactly how much is going to happen. Either way, though, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. The FAE is a really, really fun plane, although it is outclassed in some regards. Thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Let's just count this as three kills and one assist. Take care, everyone.